Yeah, the next evening. Um, and this is all set and dried. Um, like I said, didn't put any um, wax on the base, so hopefully it's going to pop off all right. Um, but they're looking, you know, looking pretty good, all things considered. That one's got a wee ripple in it there, unfortunately. It's a bit of a bugger, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, there's, there's a big join in the carbon there, which doesn't look particularly nice. But again, oh well, doesn't have to be perfect. So let's see if it's going to pop off. There we have it, a little bit more difficult to take off, um, but came off alright, left that more or less intact, and that's what we ended up with. The top, um, yeah. So now she's pretty much ready for trimming. And that's the other one. That one popped off a bit easier than the last one. Like I say, not, um, it's not perfect, but it'll do the trick. So it's two carbon guards. Uh, yeah, I know I keep saying it, but they're far from perfect. But let's get them trimmed up. And uh, I'm gonna do this maybe tomorrow night. You guys won't have to wait, that'll happen shortly for you. And we'll see how they sit and fit on the car. Several days later. All right, so finally it's now the following weekend to when I laid these up. <clears throat> and I've got some time, so I'm going to start trimming them to size, see how they look. First thing I do, I've just laid um, some tape down uh, around the curved part here, and I'm going to take the jigsaw and I'm just going to cut this um, section off, and that's just going to give me my lip, which will then bolt into the guard. So I'm going to cut that first, put this back on, um, mark it essentially, and then get rid of the... Um, original plug that I made there and then we can start marking and seeing where the wheel is uh, to get the, the rest of the shape right. right I've cut that edge off um, right through there. I see it's delaminated unfortunately just a wee bit there um, and it's set like that which is a bit of a shame but what are you going to do? So um, I think instead of pulling that mould off just yet, I'm going to shave that edge down and go from there. Alright, so I've trimmed up uh, the top edge where it'll bolt onto the guard. And I've trimmed up this edge, two, two nice square edges there. Uh, now I'm going to pull it off, get the plug out of the way. Uh, line this up, sort of tape it on. And like I say, we can start marking uh, where we're going to cut this with the wheel, etc. Pull that top bit of vinyl off I'm going to do first. Um, just pop them on there and just put some tape on just so I make sure that it's sitting exactly where I need to when I put it back on. Um, so what I'm going to do is just make sure it's lined up where I want them. Cool, now I know exactly where they go. Just go height wise back on there, even though it would be fairly obvious. but. Takes it out of the equation. Right, let's rip this plug off.
another thing we're going to do is actually trim this guard up a lot higher yet. But anyway, so we line those back up. At least I know exactly where that guard's going. Um, let's start marking the rest of it out on where to cut. All right, um, I've got that taped up in place. Um, so what I want to do is uh, trace, well, kind of sort of trace the wheel, uh, the tire outline, which is kind of difficult um, when it's half covered. So what I've got here is one of my brand new slits, same size. Um, these are a 280, 650, 18. So I can simply line that up. And um, what I do is essentially just draw around it and we'll get um, we'll get that outline and then we can yeah figure out our shape so I'm just going to put some screws in so I've just marked some intervals um, spaced out along the edge which we fixed to the guard and I'm just going to um, hand a couple of temporary fixings in through those because um, yeah she ain't staying in place We get it right. Do one there and one. Let's do that one down here, I reckon. Right, easy, done. That'll stay in place now. Get our tie back. And mark away. Excellent. Um, I don't have a white pen, but you can you can see the, the black vivid mark around there, which is more or less the outline of the tire. So I kind of did want this to sort of follow through here um, and curve back inwards. I kind of like that look. It's going to have to cut back from this line, obviously, to allow for the, the wheel to turn. And obviously, this here can't be so low. So what I may start with doing is just cutting that about 20 mil back the entire way around. And then we'll start checking clearances and... Um, bits and pieces. Alright, that is the shape. Um, I've got a little bit sort of wayward that way. But I'm not too worried. Uh, it's actually looking pretty damn badass to be fair. It's kind of the exact shape that I wanted. Right, so I've uh, marked and trimmed this up a bit higher. So there's a bit more clearance here. As the wheel um, compresses and cambers, um, it should end up inside of that, but um, first testing, see if that's enough room or not. But I'm pretty happy with with that um, you know shape that follows the wheel background down here. Um, so I'm going to figure out the height at which I'm going to trim this here which ideally would be bottom of the side skirt, so I might get the side skirts and just tack them on, uh, make that make that the bottom. And up the front here, I'm just going to um, just square this off. Right, so I've got both sides more or less trimmed up. Um, looking really cool actually. Pretty pleased how they come out, all things considered. Uh, this bit here, I'm actually gonna lay some more resin through this here just so I can get this this corner squared off through here. And I'll show you the other side which I've just cut. Um, I'll get some resin on there shortly and then probably what I'll do is 
mark and cut these original guards back to give the clearance we need in there and we're going to be looking pretty damn good all right i'm just prepping um this here because i'm literally going to lay um, these here flat down and just run some resin on that like i said um and like i didn't do on the last plugs i didn't run some wax on it which makes it easier to come off so a little bit of wax and then I'll just squash these down with something on top and um, let those set. Right, so that resin's going to dry over there, um, and I'm just going to really loosely mark this guard to cut out, so it's going to look, uh, as long as it's you know, below these points, we'll keep that swage line for uh, rigidity of the guard, so we're really going to be up about here somewhere, so it doesn't have to be perfect at all. It's pretty much just look like that. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna cut them, pop them back on. Alright, guards are cut. And you see heaps of clearance in there, not much of the actual guard left. Um, but that's absolutely fine. Um, I've just painted up these wall um, spacer brackets here, put rib nuts into the car. Put some rib nuts into the bracket so that these um, set screws can head in. And the same in this little front bracket here. Just painted that and actually bolted it on instead of um, tech screws. So that's all, all solid. The wide body guards just got that bottom still drying. It's got one more bracket, which is that one there, to pop in. So that's pretty much achieved all I needed. Like I say, that slight extension just on this part here. Um, yeah, that was my cut line where that kind of hard to see where that rivet is, and that was all uh, all loose carbon before. So what we do with both of these is get them mounted on the car. And then we'll figure out that final cut. All right, this one finally cut. Um, I've got them curling around a fair bit. Under there, I'm not sure if I like that. I've checked the wheel clearance and it's absolutely fine turning. Uh, it's not even close. In fact, it gets further away as the wheel turns, if you imagine, but uh, do I like that? Not sure, but it's better it's longer than too short. Um, that's more or less one guard. Like I say, I've still got to make the mounts to secure this portion, which is fairly flappy. And this side here is also the same match as the other side. So all in all, I'm pretty stoked with these guards. Um, they certainly make the car look aggressive, that's for sure.
All right, let's uh, let's bolt on the rib nuts in the um, oh, uh, washer bolt combos. Um, still need to make something for down here to hold hold this in yet, but so that's probably it for this video. Uh, a few things done, a bit more progress. Almost ready to run the 18 by 10 and a half on the track. Now I've got a track day booked at the end of this month. It's a casual track day with a whole bunch of other cars, um, street cars mostly, but I can use it for testing. Um, I've checked and I can run without a bumper if required. Obviously it's preferred, but um, I'm not sure I'm going to get that done. I doubt I'm going to get that done in time as it's on the 30th of this month, so it's about three weeks away. Um, but it's going to be good to get this thing back out there and rolling again. So I've got to jack the rear suspension up a bit as the whole car is um, sitting like that, an exaggeration. Uh, obviously got better wheels for the back and um, eventually I'm going to build a wide body for the back as well. That they're going to poke out slightly, not as much as those um, to be that far. But uh, let's just get this back up on track. Check the tune, the sequential, the 10 and a half is going to clear and all that good stuff. Uh, but until then, that's how I made my DIY carbon guards, which I'm pretty happy with. Till next time, I'll film some more. Still got lots to do before the 30th, so I might get another video out before then.